27 cents. You likely have more sitting in between your couch cushions right now. It can't get you much in today's world, but that little bit of pocket change is at the heart of debate at our state capitol. And that 27 cents represents the new fee that went into effect last summer on all retail deliveries and money from the fee designed to help fund our state's $5 billion infrastructure plan. But not even a year into the fees being imposed, there are efforts to revamp and even repeal them. Denver 7's Megan Lopez kicks off our in-depth reporting. of this warehouse in Denver, a business based on moving goods from one place to another. Centennial Container is not so focused on what the goods are or even how they're delivered, but what they arrive in. We do shipping supplies, cardboard, bubbles, strut wrap, all those good things. But even a company like this that's in the business of delivery faces fees on, well, delivery. At the beginning, we did get quite a few customers calling us asking, hey, what is this thing? Senate Bill 260 from 2021 added a 27 cent fee onto delivery to help pay for upgrades to Colorado's transportation and transit infrastructure. The bill is working. Um, we are having projects break ground and get into the system that we otherwise wouldn't. Most of those fees have been in effect for less than a year, but already Colorado lawmakers are considering changes. For Republicans, that means trying to do away with them altogether. Repeal the retail delivery fee, that 27 cents you see on your bill that everyone I talked to um, when I knocked doors was complaining about. But with the Democratic supermajority, that bill didn't make it out of committee. For Democrats, meanwhile, a plan to modify the fee structure to help small businesses by exempting those who earn $500,000 or less in retail sales from the fee altogether. We want to make sure it applies to the right businesses and it's not sort of entangling folks who uh, really are not having that big of an impact on our roads. Senate President Steve Finberg insists that this isn't a correction to that transportation law or even walking it back. I think it's a refining. Um, we knew that that was a big bill and there are probably going to be things we missed or things that we wanted to improve upon. The bill would also make it so that businesses don't have to itemize the fee on their receipts, something. We were told with the software we currently had, it was not an option. Nash Moore from Centennial Container says caused quite the headache. So we had to create a part that was a non-inventoriable part, um, and then we have to remember to put that on every single customer that's eligible to be charged that fee. Moore hopes this change will make it a little easier for his front office so that they can get back to the business of boxing instead of worrying about receipts. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.